the Synagogue Church of All Nations Thessalonica has been renamed. Our ministry will now go by the name. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you doing today? Wherever you're listening to me from, I appreciate you. God bless you. But I want to ask you for a favor. Please, before you continue to watch, can you just share this video now and like it? Then at the end of you viewing the video, to an extent where your comment will make sense, put down your comments in the comment section. And if you have not given us your subscription, please subscribe to our channel and the good lord will bless you we are here we don't insult people but we tell the truth from our hearts sometimes we, we might make mistakes actually but we don't we are not partisan we are not biased we are not in anybody's camp we are in the camp of jesus and every child of god every christian should be at the same camp uh, for our lord jesus christ and so if you are not in the camp or you pretend to be in the camp yeah we, we, we'll talk about people like that so you're highly welcome to the end time truth television so a few months after the bbc documentary that shook the whole world that shook the whole world tell you that commentary revealed so many things that commentary exposed so many things and that commentary has left no stone unturned as in people's reaction we saw those of a particular orientation and characteristics that have you know they would almost have beaten people up if they had come in contact with, with persons speaking about those things contrary to their own views and opinion they were ready to beat people up even right from the pulpit and if you see people talking about these things i mean reacting this way they are of the same you know click and the inclination so the bbc documentary what did not only reveal what those women and men said they went through their story in the hands of tb joshua now but it also revealed a lot of things so those of you who don't know now yeah, i think i'm speaking in parables but if you get it you get it now so one of the wise men of uh, the late prophet tb joshua wise man harry the i don't know if i don't know if i will call him the general overseer of the synagogue church of all nations in Thessalonica has come out with a sudden announcement that the synagogue in Thessalonica, they are changing their names from what it used to be, Synagogue Church of All Nation, Nations in Thessalonica. It's also squad, you know, to the announcement that you are going to hear. Now, um, when I saw that in the first place, because what I saw was just the short part of it. You see, I'm very sincere. I don't, I, I, I don't do what I do with biasness. I'm not biased, all right? I saw a short form of it, a very short you know, clip that only gave the announcement that they have changed the name of their church from Synagogue Church of Foundations. Now, that's like, even you, you will be thinking in the way I was thinking. Uh, could it be that he wanted to sever any kind of ties, any form of ties, any form of resemblance from the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Nigeria so that whatever happened to the image of the church arising from the, the uh, BBC documentary so that he will not be linked with it. So, but I decided to search for more so that I can get more information. Now, so he explained the reason why the change, the change was necessary. I'd like you to listen to him. Yeah. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Viewers around the world, brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning and win today. You all know the difficult times our ministry has been going through. After my arrest on the 27th of August 2022 for preaching the gospel and doing the work of God. Nevertheless, we continue to thank God and remain steadfast in faith. For we know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. While persecuted, criticized and rejected for Christ's sake, the Lord's merciful spirit has not forsaken us. Instead, he continues to encourage us to soldier on and keep on striving for God's kingdom. Following my arrest on the 27th of August 2022, the Ministry of Religious Affairs here in Greece decided to revoke the church's permit of operation and we have been in the quest of getting it back ever since. 
After many efforts on our side, the government finally reached out to us. We were informed by the Ministry of Religious Affairs that the word synagogue in our church's name, which is Synagogue Church of All Nations Thessalonica, makes it impossible for us to be granted a permit, since this word synagogue refers to the Jewish community and not to a Christian church like ours. Our church had the wonderful grace to be named after the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, which was founded by our mentor and father in the Lord, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. In Nigeria, where the church was founded, the Jewish community is a minority. But here in the city of Thessaloniki, the Jewish community consists of thousands, and such connection can indeed be confusing. Thus, to make the work of God progress and grow, and to avoid any conflicts and misunderstandings with the Jewish community in Greece and in any other part of the world, the Synagogue Church of All Nations Thessalonica has been renamed. Our ministry will now go by the name Christian Church of All Nations Thessalonica, as per God's divine instruction. Our new logo will be seen on all our social media from now on, and it will be a symbol of unshakable proof that God's work cannot be stopped or banished by human adversity and opposition. At the center of the logo, you can see Jesus' cross, from which we receive our salvation, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings. On the left side, you can see the earth and its parallel lines, which symbolizes that our ministry is global and reaches the whole world. Moving to the right side of the logo, you can see the dove, which symbolizes the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And last but not the least, you can see a flame that burns the whole world, the fire of the Holy Ghost, which brings a global revival in these last days. People of God, we live in perilous times, but we should learn to keep our vision in the forefront of our mind. Because if you are a man of vision, no matter what constitutes the obstacles on your way, you can never be stopped. Instead of tension and pressure to reduce your vision, it will even enlarge your strategies. May God bless you all. Emmanuel. Well, there was something I, I did actually because he, you know, go governments, governments like that in the countries like that where they have a ministry for religious um, movement, religious body is good. You know, at least there will be there will be some form of regulation and there will be some form of uh, organization. And people, even if you don't have the fear of God, at least you have the fear of government. So, but uh, I actually try to know whether there are, there are other synagogues in Greece. Um, yes, I found out that there are many other synagogues in Greece, and actually the term synagogue is um, of Greek origin, synagein, to bring together, which means a place of assembly. And so I, I began to wonder that how come the governments have so much interest in the name? Well, I wouldn't know. Since there are other synagogue assemblies in the city, in the country, I wouldn't know if it is because this one has a different connotation in the sense that the Jewish synagogue is where the the uh, Jews who are into the practice of Judaism, you know, gather together for their worship. But then the Christians, you know, what they use is church and not synagogue. So maybe the government has pro issues with that. Truly, you know, truly. And because it is a story, I believe that it is so. So I'm bringing this across to you so that you don't think that is because of um, the documentary that made him he change his I know the name of the church. I hope this is clearer and this is better. Well, anyway, thank you out there and God bless you. I'll be coming back. There was a video I did before you know, on this channel where uh, wise man Daniel talked about the naked baptism that he had with his uh, mentor. We're going to revisit that video again. Um, <laughs> something came to my mind, I will not say it. <laughs>
But something that uh, Wiki used in those days, you know, there was one song that he used that time. So I don't want to use it here because I love everybody. All those that hate me, I love all of you. All right? And those that love me, oh, God bless you. God bless you. The Lord will help us. We will make heaven. We will get to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Following the footsteps of our Lord Jesus, we shall get there. And then we will sing a new glorious song in the name of Jesus. One glorious morning, I shall see my Jesus. One glorious morning, by and by. One glorious morning, I shall see my Savior. One glorious morning, by and by. Thank you and God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.